<sighs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Okay. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor related product placements. Yes, I am to aware. Things up. Ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And huh. Everyone knows that. Chill, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. This get any more obvious. Go sleepy. Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. You could pop. You could say excuse me. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Whoa. Huh? Whoa. You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> she, she Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. I don't think she likes that, sir. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it, this sucks. You sound like he beat off to Nicki Minaj music videos. Ah, oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. This what y'all got us doing? Supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Why would that make you feel Quiet better? Quiet down, will you? Please. I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Oh, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Oh, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. SHUT UP! And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? I want the Dome. part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. 
Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Oh, it's that guy. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah. Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Ah, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? This the Akechi guy that everybody likes. I, I see a lot of people, like, talking about him, and, like, you know, a lot of people love this guy. In the real world, and in the game. Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! He's that detective guy, right? My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> He's a little awkward, isn't he? Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. He is a very awkward person. Holy crap. 69! That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. I... All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake? Shut up! I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Yeah! Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. I never got to go to mementos like I wanted to. Well then. Try not to stand out too much. That's for Yuji's thing. You a little penis sucker. Hey. Live an honest life. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Bro thinks he's now told Shiragane. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun! Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <laughs> He's funny, I like this guy. Hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Oh. 
That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. He has a decent point, though. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Don't press nothing. Of course they do. Don't press nothing. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Ryuji, hush. No, stay away from me. Stay away from me. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Uh, they do more than the cops. <laughs> you see, you can't... If you say they're justice itself, it's gonna be like, hold on, you a little weird. You got some connection, you be like they're necessary. You're like, are you sure about that? You might, I think you know something. But they do more than the cops, like anybody can see that. You feel me? And it's funny, so they ain't nobody gonna take it too serious, you know? Like, that's the best answer. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. Oh, Lord. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? What would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh. Please don't misunderstand. Oh. This is all purely hypothetical. I think he's he's theorizing the same thing I theorized a few episodes ago. Where there's a persona user, just like us, that takes people's hearts but actually tries but actually kills them. And that's why like all these incidents are happening. I think he's theorizing the exact same thing. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. Yeah, he had some good points. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. Oh, what up? I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. 
while they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. I don't like either one of these answers because it makes me suspicious. Like, if this was me in this situation, I'd be like, if that's what you think, I respect your opinion. It's like, I'll, I'd be like, you know, just something, like, just something, like, no real answer. Just, we all got our opinions. Uh, I don't know. They fight to the end, I guess. Oh? See, it makes me look suspicious. Both of those answers sucked. You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? That's fine. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. I'm gonna tickle your balls, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Course. Detective Akechi is taking a liking to me. I don't know how I feel about that. That I don't know how to feel about that. What is that? Oh, I felt like something was on my leg. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou, bitch, with the birth of the Justice Persona. I figure he'd be Justice. Alright. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And... Registered. Well... My bad. What did he say? Hope to see you again soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Bro, on, let's go. Stop hating. Oh my goodness. How much meat can you gobble in one go, bro? Mm. Catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said pissed me off. She's clearly trying to discredit everything we're doing. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. What a nice thing to say. Still, was what Akechi said actually wrong? Yeah, he had a point. We're Phantom Thieves. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Man, y'all talk a lot! Goodness! Who's next? Administrator, the Phantom Initiato. Gonna show a catchy how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan. Oh my goodness, y'all talk a lot. I mean, I understand. Like, I signed up for this when I bought a freaking game. When I bought a game like this specifically. But holy crap, bro. Man. I mean, like, when I say they talk a lot, I mean, they just don't shut up. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. 
What? Why? Bro, leave me alone. Like a dream come true. High school detective, the detective prince. He is oh, not now talk Shiragane. Y'all talk too freaking much. Shut up. Shut up! Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was oh, some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. Ryuji! If what else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the fan. Ryuji, shut up! You're mad for no reason! It is not that serious! Ow. You're being way too loud. Yes! Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? What's your problem, so bro? Oh, there we go. Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. You talk too loud! But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. I don't like my picture being taken. Can you not not do that? Are you snooping on us again? You said before we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Because Could it be that you're hiding something. Cause every time you come to see us, you're questioning us. My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? Oh. You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. I'm trying to hold out until at least we find our next target. Only I could. And I just want to hit freaking mementos. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well... Do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, An's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Bro just went on with that plan. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. 
That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? What about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my mom had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! What was that? What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. Excuse you, Ryuji? People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. You didn't hear her. I've been helping enough. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. That's crazy. Ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. I want to see. There's not much to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... On. On Takamaki. Takamaki. On -chan, huh? Takamaki. That's a nice name. I don't remember that. Got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sojiro, don't be chatting with these high schoolers. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. Soldier, don't be strange. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing and catchy stuff. Shut up! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, Ray? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Uh, 
Uh, Mishima Sight. I've been looking. Hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it! How are we gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate? What the? Sorry, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? No! Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. I keep my pot always hot. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Hey man, take your time. Move! Bro, move, move. I should write something. My goodness. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. <laughs> Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. She is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Oh, I can go back here. I didn't even know that. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Wait, they're- whoa, they're like- Oh, they're family? Wowzers. His last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Must taste a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. 
All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? What do you want to do, Makoto? What do you want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, Ryuji! What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know on? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. <laughs> Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship. There's one way to start it. Easier for her. In the end. I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> yeah, you suck. Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you oh man to say anything else you know what'll happen to you right? oh man uh, but... yo this is bullcrap shut up you're... you shut up you're gonna learn what happens when you cross me you should have died you should have fell and died oh my Excuse lord me, folks we received a complaint about an argument here lady is something the matter lady oh it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to lady, me, officer. Lady, lady, uh, lady, don't you dare! The young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. 
That's some bull crap. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't remember, bro. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details. Shut up, cat. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it. This world is so messed up. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. You're loud! To me, the flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Ha! <laughs> Stupid cat. I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. Stupid cat. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. I don't like where this is going. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. This boss would be some dang weird freaking Higarashi time loop crap, bruh. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Y'all know I'm the goat. Oh, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. No good night to me? Need to turn back into a human scene. She's not gonna I want you, bro. Get taken by someone else. She's not gonna want you, bro. Ah, <sighs> huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She cool. 
Uh, she's a great teammate. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm. Still... Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? Don't yell at old people. I can't stand it anymore! Just, Anyways, just throw something at them or something. Again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Hey, that's my boy. Hard. Steam fogged up his glasses. Another one of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Why y'all laughing at my face? Don't make you any trouble. I'm not that totally social as gratefulish. Did something happen? Bro, move. Let's turn in for the night. Well, worry about breakfast for me. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso. All right, can I finally go to Mementos? I'm not going to Mementos. I'm going to the Velvet Room. Okay. Y'all will do anything to keep me from going to Mementos. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Shut up. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. rehabilitation. I look forward to it. it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right. All right. It's almost time. For what? Almost time for what? What does that mean? Don't be mysterious. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical dun, 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 if I think dun, dun. on premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? 
compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit? I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? What have you really done, though? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, that's not very nice. Well, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? That was not a nice thing to say. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I Come on. See. Dang it! Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because... He reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Finally awake. I'm hungry. I haven't seen Yusuke. Maybe you went downstairs. I don't care, bro. Let me go to Mementos. You up? You're finally up. You know it's past noon. Kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for care for taking care of him. Sayuri. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it though. Hey. If you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop up hours ago, so we'll take the cat out somewhere. Stay tonight. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I decided to return to the dormitories. I've entrusted Sayori to your protector. It should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. It was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. I, I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever had a hot pot that I can not that I remember. Hey, hey. Info about burglars using the Phantom Thief's name. Sounds pretty lame. Target restaurants. Yeah, Makoto was talking about that. My brother has started 
acting violently towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. Caught up with all those weird people. Regular. Spend a bunch of money lately. Regular groups are in Shibuya. Let's look into it. Go about. Let's go into Shibuya. Where do we drew them to LeBlanc? A lot of trouble for boss. Targeted. Seems like a viable plan for me. Let's do it. Get kicked out if we fail. I left the Sayori there as well. I had forgotten. Goodness, y'all talk a lot. Hey. Man. C can I finally go to Mementos? Can I finally go to Mementos? Oh my goodness. Y'all just shit and chat. <laughs> Layla's looks happy now. Is it because you got a bunch of cats? I think it's too much. Hey. That cat napping case. I'm concerned too. You're concerned about that household as well. She suddenly brought home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was all right. It's terribly noisy at night and they shed everywhere. I'm worried it's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats. That is worrying. But the landlord, nothing's changed. I know who? I only said hello to her, I don't know her that well. Let's get out of here and go over what we know. I know lady. Okay, we know her name is I know. We gotta find her last name. Cat not here today? Maybe the woman really did take them. Hey. About that woman. Woman who nabs all the cats around here and calls them snowball. Test terrible. Ryoko. Let's go. Alright. Ah, uh, Ryoko Aino, we done got her. All right, to Mementos. Hold on, I haven't, I haven't fought anything in a minute. Let me get back in the swing of things. Are right, these holly jolly creatures, bro? How is this? Oh. Sakota, that's the bully. Thinks he's a hot shot. Guy's behind all that bullying. Yeah. When it's not the bullying, we gotta yeah. take him down. Let's go. Hey, buddy! You think you can uh, stop bullying people? Listen. Think you can blame me for what I've done? Yes, you, you did it. <laughs> Doggy dog world, moron. Didn't you hear? Might makes right. What was that? Go around blackmailing people. We can't survive in this world. Become prey to the strong. Nothing's wrong with that. Ah oh, man, holy yip yap! Shut up. Black Frost. Wait, that's my goat. No. Wait, that's my goat. Black Frost. Headbutt. Put him to sleep. Okay. Giant slice. Uh-uh. Does that mean we're gonna run into a lot of Black Frost soon? Oh, I'll be able to take them. I'm not a loser. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong, aren't I? Shut up. You're strong, little man. <sighs> to admit you're lost. Strong, eat, weak, or something. 
When I'm done with you, there's gonna be nothing left but bone. You ready? Shut up! You're corny! <laughs> Don't gotta say sorry to us. Go apologize to who you really need to apologize to. Evil Snow Crystal. That must be like a key to fusing a persona. Probably like King Frost or something. Mm -hmm. Impressive leadership. Keep going. lag got a devil fruit excuse me sir yeah let's go let's go shut up Morgana who is this Ryoko I know let's change your heart Oh, that's the girl that be stealing kittens. Hey. You're gonna let all the cats and youngin go. No. Without me snowballing, all the other kitties won't be happy and safe. Other kitties? What are you talking about? Snowball? <laughs> come here, kitty. You've got to come over, too. Oh, she turned into a cat lady. I totally didn't see that coming. Be the one to protect the snowballs. Let's go. What is she probably weak to? Uh. Who really cares? Something going on with this one. Maybe we should try talking to them. She's calling the cat she kidnapped snowballs. The cat napped cats are stressed out. Lastly, the pet owners are giving up. You'll be able to change the target's heart. Use the information you've obtained to change the target's heart. What do you want? All I want to do is protect the snowballs. I have to protect them. I just have to protect them. Calm down. I am calm. Of course I'm calm. I need to stay calm for the snowballs. Man. What do you mean by snowballs? Are all cats snowballs? Snowballs are snowballs. Are there a lot of snowballs? What do you want? They're all snowballs. I have to protect them. She needs to be checked into a mental hospital. That's what it seems like. The cats are stressed out? No. If I don't keep an eye on the snowballs, they'll die too. Mm. Yeah, she lost her cat and now she's... She lost her cat... And now she's going crazy about it. Real Snowball's gone. She's calm enough for us to talk to her. Go for it. Snowball is gone! You're right. It's a little disappointing. I wanted to beat the crap out of her. I found this white kitten and took it home, but it wandered outside while I wasn't looking, and then I saw it get run over by a car. The car just kept driving even after it ran over the kitten. Since then, I see that kitten and every cat. I always think I have to protect it this time. Hmm. It's brought you a lot of suffering. The people who really suffered are the owners and their cats. Realize your mistake. Don't do it again. I have a lot of cat food at my place, so please come over sometime. No! I am not a cat! But that sounds nice. Thanks! Aww, how sweet. She just wanted to protect the, 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 the kittens. She just wanted to protect the kittens! Yeah! Let's keep going. Come on, let me take your heart. Let me take your heart. Stop, stop, stop. Excuse me, sir. He did not see us. Is bro stupid? The shadow of that girl named Shimizu. Uh, scary. She really seems like a sadist. 
She's calling someone her slave and ordering them around, right? I should have known. In a way, she's denying his existence. I certainly want to be the victim of that. Shoot. Let's go talk to her. Hey there, Miss uh, Shimizu. Is it? You think you can... St <laughs> so you're the pigs who wrote that calling card online. Why do I deserve this, hmm? Cause you made some guy your slave. That's all kinds of wrong right there. That's what he wants. He worships me more than any god, you know. Um... I don't know where to begin to explain how you're wrong. I beat him and I hurt him, and he sees it as a sign of our love and friendship. He's so happy. Hold a moment. You are delusional. Um, it's. You guess. I'm pretty and my grades are good. It's my right to order people around. I no 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 no. No, no, no. Stop by. I'll start by giving orders to you pigs. Lick my shoes, peasants! Oh, I'm itchy. What is that? You're going down. I'll never give up. Moto, he belongs to me. Being my slave is what makes him happy. Let's go. All right, let's kill her. A lot of attack. I got three criticals in like, yo. That that's damage. Holy crap! That is damage. Where is um? Ah oh, man, you can only heal one person. Useless, aren't you? Oh, she's weak to fire. Get rid of her. Kill her. Kill her. Get out of here! No, 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 no! I don't want to lose him! He's mine, isn't he? Keep this up and he'll hate you. I could never stand that. Why did you start treating him like that? What was I doing? You just kept going along with it, so I misunderstood and thought I could do anything I wanted. I, I wanted to be more than friends with him. Huh? More than friends. I had a crush on him, but then I got possessive. Those feelings went out of control. Yeah. Be careful that you don't make things worse for yourself than they already are. Ah, uh, how sad. Whip sword. Ooh. Well, we did it. More people believe in us. Has to be it. Now let's go. Doesn't this look different from how it was before? New area from here on. I'm starting to understand how this place works. Yeah, so it's quite a marvel to find a subway system down here. Uh, Earth the Yusuke. It's always been like that. Guys, 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 I'm not too sure, but I think Yusuke might be a little stupid. Hold on. Some of these shadows are just dumb. Let's go. All right, let's try ice. So that's your move. And I guess I'll talk first. I'll decide if I'm gonna help you after. Just look at it. Try calming its nerves. Look, Sonny, I I've got this girl waiting for me. You know what I'm getting at, right? You think you can let me go see my girl? What kind of girl is she? 
She's a real lady, the, the kind who never dates some crazy punks that jump people's guns. Oh, oh, this hurts. Hey, if you got any medicine, lend me some of them. One of them painkillers. Are you okay? Hey. Showing compassion to some guy you were just fighting? Hey, hey I can't believe it. I remember now. Oh, I'm no shadow from this place. I used to be living there and not see a human soul. Call me Ebonditar. No need for honorific, Sonny. I remember this guy. He he makes some pretty good personas. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Aw, oh, dang. Sir. He's weak to nukes. Just so because I'm on my knees doesn't mean you won. I can still fight. Can you still fight now? You still think you can still fight? You still want to say that stupidity? You still want to say that stupidity? All right. Now I doubt you can still fight. What a grouch. Just be the better man and act the opposite. Besides that, you kill me, another me is just gonna take my place. In the end, killing me is just a waste of your time and energy. You get what I'm saying, right? Are you in a loop? On this floor. Last floor at seven, but the one before that at two. Varies depending on the location. And you gotta tell how many floor we gotta cover, huh? Well no many until we make it to the end. Judge about the vibes I'm getting from these shadows. This floor isn't any smaller than the last. Oh, what the hell? So dark. Mementos is an amalgamation of the people's cognition. This can affect the environment as well as the structure. It hasn't been like this in a long time. But it seems like the darkness won't be the only thing we'll have to deal with. What do you mean? You mean we have even more stuff to worry about? In a way, I can sense rare shadows all around us. We should explore this area for a bit, despite the darkness. End up area look different than usual. Deviation. Good and bad events will occur when you leave a deviated floor. The effects will disappear, so you know what the differences are. I don't really want to stick around here, but Joker, just... I can't see anything. Yo, all I know in P5, the darkness makes the Reaper come faster. And I don't want that. I just... I just want to get out of here. I don't want the Reaper to pull up on me, bro. I just want to get out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Reaper is not getting me. The Reaper is not getting me, bro. I'm not getting caught by the Reaper. It's not happening. Some of these shadows are just so stupid. Yes. They're not like the shadows in Persona 3, bro. In Persona 3, like, you cannot sneak past these shadows for the life of you, man. Oh, he's here. How's it going, little guy? Hey. Cats are back in Yongin. 
Overheard the owners talking. Sounds like Aino turned herself in. Once she pays for her crimes, apparently she's gonna volunteer to take care of stray cats. I doubt she remembers me, but maybe I'll go visit her someday. I made a promise. Uh, you're back. Sudden. That guy says sitting around doing nothing pisses me off. Now you feel high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we change another person's heart. Really starting to mobilize. All right, I st bro, I'm, I'm, I stopped at the perfect time. I should write something. I should write something. Alright, that's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and read them all, tap into the next one. I think I've been recording for like... 4 hours and 30 minutes I've been recording. I've been locked in. I hope y'all enjoy, you know, tap into the next one.